Hi, folks. Welcome to my Shell Buzzy on Buzzyman blog, where we teach you the how to, the what to, the where to, the why to, the when to, the who to, making it just that easy. And uh, I've had a number of uh, inquiries recently, and I, I know what it is. There's a number of people out there now that. Uh, have this decided uh, maybe uh, it's time to do a little bit of upgrading inside the home but you know it's uh, costly and you want to do it as reasonable as possible and you want to do as much as you can yourself and uh, one of the questions I'm getting asked a lot for now is shall I want to do my uh, kitchen or I want to do my bathroom or I want to do my bedroom floor and I want to put down either vinyl or ceramic tile, or uh, you could possibly even putting in there uh, hardwood. I don't really recommend it in bathrooms or in kitchens, but I know a lot of people are using engineered or laminate flooring for there. But it's the installation, the application to the existing floor, for example. And I'll get a lot of people saying, well, these shall, you know, I've been told there may be asbestos in the, uh, the vinyl floor. Well, may just be asbestos, but don't worry about it. It's not going to jump out of the floor at you, and it's not going to uh, uh, gas off uh, into the air where it could affect you. But you could go over top of it and cover it up, and I call that masking it out and go right on over top. But in the bathroom, let's deal with the bathroom. I love bathrooms because you've got so many things on the floor. For example, let's just draw a rectangle here, and uh, we'll put uh, a toilet over here, and we'll put a tub down here, and we'll put a vanity in here, and the faucets there, and uh, you may even have a cabinet in here where uh, uh, you've got, um, oh, possibly all your... Um, uh, items is within the bathroom. You could have uh, toilet tissue. You could have uh, uh, your, uh, oh, I was going to say your aspirins. Oh, well, you know, toothpaste, toothbrushes, all that kind of stuff. Brush for hair, what have you. If you've got any hair like me, oh, gosh, thank God my hair is staying with me. But this here being the tub, this being the toilet, and um, this being the uh, vanity. Now, you can see how many different obstructions there is in there if you're going to be putting a floor, especially a one-piece vinyl floor, which is not uncommon, folks, in a bathroom, and I highly recommend to you, for example, to use one piece in there because vinyl flooring, one piece, is so easy because you may have uh, something in there now with a pattern on it, for example. It may be a ceramic tile pattern. It could be anything, but as you know, a uh, ceramic tile or a marble pattern or an embossed pa a pattern on the vinyl, then there's a little indent. And an indent is where you have, the, let's, let's say that's the thickness of your vinyl, and you might have a pattern in there, so that particular portion there wouldn't be there. That, that indent is uh, a pattern, giving you a marbly look or a tile look or a ceramic look, that sort of thing. Well, to go over top of it with one sheet vinyl, it's uh, not just that easy to make it look good unless you do one thing and it's very important, and that is to put a floor leveling compound, which you can buy pre-mixed, to fill that little indent. So to fill all these little uh, imitation, which they are indents, showing a ceramic tile pattern with grout. So that little indent has to be filled with what we call a floor leveling compound. And this is your vinyl here. You're going to leave it on the subfloor, which is there. And then you're going to go over top of it with your new vinyl. And that new vinyl then, once you've got the floor filler in here, that the floor leveling compound, that makes it nice and flat all the way through. That way you don't get the pattern telegraphing up through your new vinyl flooring that you're putting down. And uh, you're masking in the old flooring that may have some asbestos in it. So it's going to be masked in and it's not going to be around anywhere. It can't be uh, chipped off. It can't be sanded off. It's, uh, it's there. It's hidden. It's, in the, it's a meat in the sandwich. 
But now the question comes, Shell, how do I get around all these different things, the bathtub, the toilet, and the, and the vanity? Well, first and foremost, I highly, highly recommend removing the toilet. It's a good experience, too. It's not a big job. Wear rubber gloves. And, um, but take the toilet off of the floor. Disconnect. Shut off the water first before you um, remove that uh, uh, line that the, the actual water supply line to the underside of your toilet tank. Shut the water off first before you take it off. And then once you've got the bolts that are holding your toilet to the floor and the water line removed from the tank, then you can take and dip out, dip out the water. Uh, you flush the toilet first. That way you empty the tank. You're not monkeying around with a whole bunch of water. So flush the toilet, dip out the rest Take a towel and take the rest of it out of the out of the toilet bowl. Take the lid and put it away somewhere. Put it under the bed. That way nobody's going to break it. Okay, you don't want to break the lid of the toilet. But take it off and take it away. You might even decide you want to go for a new toilet. Maybe one of the uh, uh, space saver toilets or the water saving uh, toilets or the double flush system, all these different items. Or you could go to the Toto toilet. A lot of people have problems that the toilets are not high enough, while the Toto toilet has got a good high toilet. Or you can check with your other manufacturers as well. There. Once you've got that off, now you've just got around the cabinet there. Oh, let's say, let's take another color here that way, and we can get it here. There's the red there. That's around the cabinet. Remember the cabinet for all your toiletries? And then around your tub here and around the vanity here. And there's going to be a hole there in the floor, which is your sewage um, uh, line, that, which is uh, your outfall for your uh, sanitary sewer line. Now, what do you do? You're ready to put the vinyl down. you got the vinyl. It's available uh, in the, maybe in the living room or down in the basement, all laying out, maybe in the garage floor or wherever you might have put it. Incidentally, you always cut from the back side, okay? So when you cut from the back side, make sure you put it down something soft. But uh, the back side, the reason why, you'll see why, when you put it down here, you're putting it down in such a way that you want the right diagram for the right floor. And that's the bathroom floor. Okay, so once you've got that, now you go in with all of yesterday's newspaper or maybe the magazines, and you just lay out all that paper all the way through, and you keep taping all the pieces together. Do you know what you're doing? You're making a template, a template. And that template, when you take that piece of material, and you're going to now put it in that room, some people will make the template and put it on the uh, the face side, that's your, your front side or you, the side that you're going to see, which is fine if, it's, if that's the way you want it. I like the back side because that way it, uh, it gets us uh, at the uh, director's out. But in any event, you lay it all out and you got this big template. You just roll it up, lay it out on top, and um, once you got it all taped together, you take it in. After you lay it on top of the vinyl, cut all the vinyl. And you always cut over by maybe, oh, half an inch, half an inch, oversized. And you take it in and put it on the floor. You got all the floor filler down. You got the adhesive down, ready to go, and down in the, with your vinyl. And you can rent yourself a roller, or you can do it with a rolling pin, starting at the middle, working to the outside, and uh, roll her down. And then you get yourself your new wax seal for your toilet, and your new uh, T bolts. And uh, there you have it, your new toilet possibly as well if you went that far. It's just that easy, folks. And you know what? That cost that you just saved yourself, plumber, floor covering, laying your own, very likely half of what it would cost, if not more, with the product being installed by someone else. It's just that easy. Do it yourself? You betcha. Until next time, folks, my blog coming your way, The On Buzzyman. Keep happy and stay well. Bye-bye for now until next time.